Welcome to the AP Physics Workbook Solution. Here we have Unit 5, Momentum, and the section is 5.8, Center of Mass. Here's the scenario. Two students, Blake and Angelica, stands on a smooth, isolated surface, a distance x apart, and who on opposite ends of a rope to pull themselves together. They each hold tightly on the rope, which has negligible mass. Angelica pulls the rope with a constant force so that she and Blake approaches each other and meet. The system includes both the student and the rope. Part A asks us to draw the free body diagram, making sure we label all the students. I'm going to make the left hand side Blake and I'm going to make the right hand side Angelica. Blake is going to have three forces acting on him. There is going to be the force gravity going down. And the force norm is going to go opposite of it, which is going forward. And what's pulling Blake to the right is going to be the force that is Angelica on Blake because that is what's causing him to go right. Angelica is going to have the same way. Her force gravity going down, force norm is going to go up. And for her, she's um, there is a force to the left, but that's going to be what Blake is going to be pulling on Angelica, which is the opposite. That is how the force diagram should look like for Blake and Angelica. Please understand that the lengths are going to be the same values for them. Uh, please understand there's a little mistake. Hold on. I just shrank the length of force norm and force gravity on Je Angelica because Angelica's mass is 50 kilograms. Okay. Her uh, vectors, her magnitudes are smaller. Blake is 75 kilograms so his vectors are more because there's more magnitude for that force but the force that's going left and right which is the force applied on each other they're going to be the same length now you could answer part b of how they move you're going to be marking what is right and what is wrong it says only angelica moves relative to the ice which is going to be completely wrong now I'm going to just correct the statement because the statement is completely wrong. Both of them have to move. Both Blake and Angelica will move relative to the ice. The rope has negligible mass, so there's no force needed to accelerate the rope. The force on the two ends of the ropes are action-reaction pairs, F force of A on B as well as FB on A. So if Blake Blake will move due to Angelica, and Angelica's going to move due to Blake. Part B. The magnitude of Angelica's acceleration is less than the magnitude of Blake's acceleration. So the only part is less. The rest is going to be... Blake will experience a smaller acceleration than Angelica for the same amount of time because... Um, each of them apply the same amount of force towards each other. However, Blake has a higher mass than Angelica. Therefore, he will accelerate less than her. Next, just before they meet, Blake's speed is less than Angelica, which is correct. Here's the explanation. So from part B, we know that Blake's acceleration is smaller. Blake's smaller acceleration means he will take longer to get up to the same speed as Angelica because they move in here at the same time, but Blake has a smaller acceleration. Right before they meet, Blake will have a smaller speed than Angelica. You could also think about this in terms of inertia. Blake has just more inertia. So if they if the energy in this system is the same or the work done in the system is the same, Blake is going to require more because he has more mass, more inertia to get moving. This is the reason why he's technically slower at the start. All right. When the students are moving, their momentum vectors have equal magnitude and direction. Here's the problem. The direction is not the same. All right, I just wanted to give you some notes here. Let's give you some notes on what momentum is. Momentum is defined as a vector, which is symbolized as this P is equal to mass times velocity, but it is also a vector. Vector is a, velocity is a vector, so is momentum. The direction of momentum is the direction of the velocity, and the magnitude of the momentum is defined as P is equal to MV. Because velocity depends on the reference frame, so that thus 
momentum. Thus, the reference frame must be specific. In this case, the direction is very important. Therefore, if we say that Blake goes to the right and Jelka has to go to the left, which is negative. Let me give you the explanation for D in words. Okay, I just brought in the information that I got from the notes. I state that the students have equal momentum magnitude but opposite direction. Angelica is going left while Blake is going right. The momentum is conserved where the initial momentum and final momentum is the situation with zero. So the momentum vectors have equal magnitude and opposite direction. Part C, where do the students meet? The students meet at the what? And Blank just fight in your question. How would they meet? Before that, I would like to talk to you about these notes, this idea of center of mass. The center of mass, observe the difference in these two students. Um, one is jumping up and one is jumping like this, diving, okay? Notice that the center of mass is still in the middle of the students, no matter how they turn. The center of mass is, ex is to be seen as the sum of all the motion, plus rotational vibration and other types of uh, motion. The center of mass can be seen as, <clears throat> Define as this. Notice that the mass of A and the mass of uh, B are distributed over this axis. The center of mass is right here. And the reason why there is because MA is greater than MB. Think about it in terms of like the average. Okay. If you took the average of two things and divide them, the average that you get is the value in between them. Okay, so let me give you an example. What is the average between the number, let's say, uh, 2 and 8? So we add these together. 2 plus 8 is equal to 10, right? But we divide this by 2. Okay, the average is 5. This means that in between 2 and 8, it is what? 5. Okay, the center of mass is... 5, right? Because here this is separated by 3 and this is separated by 3. Good? Think about it like this almost the same way. But this value is closer to the greater value. So you see how this is equal? The center, the center of mass is the same thing like the average, but it tends to be towards the bigger value. So think about that idea right here. If one mass is greater than the other mass, the center of mass is closer to the larger mass. Here, if you see this and the center of mass is towards MA, you know that the mass of A is greater than mass of B. So that the center of mass is closer to mass A than mass B. In this situation, notice who has the greater mass. Blake does. Now you can see what your answer should be. The students meet at the center mass of the system and here's the justification the center of mass is located along the direction of the rope there is more mass towards the left side of the rope because blake's mass is 75 where the right hand side had angelica with only 50 grams of mass let's just bring this picture down while we do the explanation if the two masses are along um are the same then the center of mass would be in the middle okay if this is 50 and this is 50 it would it would be right in the middle however as one side increases in mass then the center of mass will shift towards that side hence why if one mass is greater than the other the center of mass is closer to that object so it would be some somewhere right here this is where the cm would be okay gets towards more of blake's next here, um, we're going to mark the center of mass, but here you have to do the calculation for it. And if you look at the calculation for the right-hand side, it's right here. So let's just do that. Center of mass is going to be equal to the bottom. It's just going to be 50 plus 100 because that's when you add the masses together. The first part is going to be the mass, uh, which is Carlos, 50. And Carlos is at where? Well, Carlos is roughly like right here, okay? So we can say Carlos is at 8 meters. Plus the, bl the plank, which is 100 kilograms. And the plank is, where's the center of mass of the plank? Look at, look at the center. So 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So the center of mass around the plank should be, just the plank alone would be 11, okay? 
Good? If you plug it, this into the calculator, you should get a value of 10, centi uh, 10 centimeters. Okay? Is that the right? No. 10 meters. Where 10 meters is in the picture is, I'm going to mark it in blue, is right here. This is where the center of mass is. Okay? If it was just the if it was just the person if it was just a plank like this the center of mass would be at 11 okay so the center of mass would be at 11 we marked it here 10 11 but the fact that there is um, a person there it's the sum of these masses and the person also has its own center of mass which is at eight that's why the new center of mass with carlos on the plank it's 10. this is the same situation next wherever we put the the plank like let's say i can move the plank this way right okay the plank is still going to have its same value let's see it's one two three four five six so let's even mark this here one one two three four five six okay the length is the same but he is also he moved right he's like let's say to the right hand side okay the center of mass is going to the center of mass is now going to move the easy way the easiest way i think about this if you remember geometry is a uh, reflex think about this being reflected over a let's say the X axis here. No, the Y axis here. Okay. Right? The Y axis is at 11. So the Y axis is like right here. Okay. Do you see how it flips from here to the right hand side? Okay. So here, I could even grab this. Boom. Copy. Right? And watch me reflect it. Right click, rotate, flip, horizontal. Boom. Right there. Do you see how the distance from him and the and the center of mass is still a unit of two? Do you see that? Just by reflection over the y-axis. So here we would say that the center of mass would be right here. Now I'm going to give you... So that is the easiest way to think about it if you turn some geometry. I'm going to give the explanation in terms of torque, which is in the next unit. Okay, but it's the easiest way to understand this. This might not make sense now, but the explanation has to be in torque, okay? In this situation, he is applying a force down, and he creates a torque of uh, 1,000 Newton meter counterclockwise. So him doing this, he goes counterclockwise at 100 Newtons meter. In this side, he has to do the same, but in the opposite direction because it balances out. Okay, conservation of um, the torque, Newton meter. So his torque here, the torque here was 1,000, right? Because that's where the center of mass is at 2. I'm going to consider that the pivot point. That's the distance. His distance away from the pivot point is 2. Here, same thing. His distance here that he's away from the center of mass has to be 2 so he can create the same amount of torque. So right here, exactly like what I said in the final picture, the torque needs to be the same value but counterclockwise because the net torque is 0 because the board isn't spinning. Okay? Since Carlos exerts the same downward force, his distance away from the center of mass has to be the same value of 2 meters. That's the only way. Good? So the last explanation I gave you was just in terms of torque. That's the physics way of explaining this. And before that, where I talked about reflecting over the y-axis is the way you can explain it using geometry. But there you go. Those are all your solutions for 5A, which is center of mass.